Learning outcomes. At the end of this section, you should be able to discuss the negative impact of human activity on the environment. Discuss the implications of pollution on marine and wetland environment. This is the world that we are living in, and we have no one to blame but ourselves. A lot of man's activity is damaging the environment. Certain practices by man are dangerous to the environment. In order for man to produce larger amounts of food, fertilizers are usually used on plants to make them grow faster and healthier. These fertilizers, however, can damage the environment. Have a look at this pond. Whenever detergents get into ponds, it can kill marine organisms. In an effort to make more space for our growing population to live, people are clearing areas by removing trees to build houses as well as clearing land for farming. Jamaica's annual rate of forest deforestation over the last two decades is estimated at 2% or more. Over these two decades, the incidence of serious flooding and conversely, serious dry season and the resulting water shortages have increased significantly. Jamaica's forests and watersheds among the best in the world, are at risk from indiscriminate destruction of the natural vegetation. What are the functions of trees? Trees keep the soil together, return oxygen to the air, remove carbon dioxide from the air. So if we keep removing trees and not planting them back, what do you think will happen? Farming activities on steep slopes with thin erosive soils rapidly degrade the vegetation on the slopes and the impact of heavy rain washes away the topsoil. Runoff surface water contaminates rivers, streams, ponds and reservoirs, clogs the lowland drainage system causing flooding. The surface soil is removed. The layers below, now exposed, erode releasing more silt and debris. Rain water runs off the surface instead of percolating into the underground aquifers, limiting the quantity of water stored for year-round use. Of course, the level of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere will increase. Carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. What this means is that it has the ability to trap the heat coming from the Earth's surface. When this happens, then the surface of the earth gets warmer. Another thing that contributes to increased levels of carbon dioxide in the environment is the burning of fuels. Let's review. Man is destroying the environment through deforestation, pollution, and burning fuels.